Hello everyone, it's Kevin, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I'm excited to show you how you can use your Ledger in conjunction with Ledger Live to send and receive your Glimmer. While Ledger has supported Moonbeam for quite a while now, Moonbeam hadn't previously been supported in Ledger Live, which meant that you needed to use it in conjunction with MetaMask. The integration with Ledger Live means that you can now see your account balances all in one place, and it also simplifies the process of sending and receiving Glimmer with your Ledger hardware wallet. First, a couple of prerequisites. Make sure you have the Ledger Live app installed to your computer, and make sure that it is fully updated as well. Upon opening it up, you may be prompted to update the application, as I am here. So we'll go ahead and press Download Update. We'll go ahead and press Install, and the application will restart. Next, plug in your Ledger device and unlock it. Click on My Ledger in the menu. You may be prompted here to allow Ledger Manager, and if so, you'll need to press both buttons on the device to allow Ledger Manager. Secondly, make sure that your firmware is up to date. As you can see here, the firmware on my Ledger Nano X is up to date. And the third step is to make sure that all of the apps on your Ledger are updated. If they're not, you can press Update right here where the Install button would be, or you could press Update All, which would appear here if I had any apps to update. In this case, all my apps are already updated, so I'm good to go. Now, Moonbeam and Moonriver have their own apps on Ledger, but it's not actually a requirement to have them installed. However, you do need to have the Ethereum app installed. And if you don't have it yet, you can just search for it and then go ahead and press Install. Once you've finished these prerequisites, we can now get to the fun part. Let's start by setting up a Ledger account to receive some Glimmer. I'll head over to the Accounts tab here. I already have one Moonbeam account here already set up, but let's go ahead and add another. I'll press Add Account, and I'll click on the drop down here. Search for Glimmer. If you search for Moonbeam, be sure you're choosing the correct network here. You're looking for the Moonbeam network and the Glimmer token. So we'll go ahead and press it, and then we'll press Continue. We're gonna be prompted to open the Ethereum app on our ledger, so go ahead and press both buttons to continue. Now choose the name of the account, or you can keep the default name if you'd like. We'll go ahead and press Add Account, and our account has successfully been added. But in order to actually know what the address is, we do have to perform a verification step. So go ahead and press Receive over here, and choose the account that you'd like to be credited. So we'll choose Moonbeam2, we'll press Continue. You'll see the address on the screen here, and make sure to copy it to the clipboard so that you don't lose it. Next, verify that the address displayed on your Ledger device matches the account displayed in Ledger Live. I'm going to press the right button to scroll along, and I see that it matches perfectly. Press both buttons to approve, and we've verified our receiving address successfully. I'm going to go ahead and send some Glimmer from my MetaMask to my Ledger account that we just created. After the funds have been sent, you'll see your balances updated in Ledger Live. Now, let's demonstrate the process of sending Glimmer from your Ledger. So head to the Send tab, and choose the account that you'd like to send funds from. In this case, we'll choose account number two. Enter the address that you'd like to send funds to. In this case, I'll be sending back to my MetaMask address. Press Continue. Enter the amount that you'd like to send. I'll go ahead and send the max amount in this case. Press Continue. Verify that the information displayed is correct. Then press Continue. Now you'll be prompted to verify the destination address as well as other transaction parameters such as the gas fee on your Ledger device itself. I'm going to press the right button to scroll along and review all of the transaction parameters including the address, the network, and the gas fees. If everything checks out, you can press both buttons to send and broadcast the transaction. And that's it. For this video, we focused on sending and receiving Glimmer, but if you'd like to use your hardware wallet for contract interactions such as staking, you'll want to connect your ledger to MetaMask. We have another video that walks you through those steps, which I'll link to in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.